So how's your pre-season tracking at the moment, James? Yeah, really well. Um, yeah, especially since Christmas, I've had a really good block. Haven't really missed anything, so feeling really good. And um, yeah, the group's going really well, so it's tracking tracking well. And then you mentioned the group. Is anyone kind of standing out to you at this period? Oh, to be honest, just as a whole, you can tell everyone's stepped up another level. Um, we always talk about the young guys we've got, but um, the Sarongs and Hayden Youngs, those guys are really leading the way, um, looking stronger, and that's just great for the team. And is this the most excited you've been for a pre-season at the club? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, obviously, last year, I'm getting a little bit of a taste of it. It was great for the group. Um, and yeah, it just gives you, I guess, the knowledge of what you need to do again to get there but improve again and I think everyone's taking that into into the summer and yeah it's a really good vibe. James this time last year you had the Achilles issue and also some uncertainty over your contract obviously now both of those things are uh, locked in does it give you a bit of more comfort for yourself heading into the year you had a good year last year after getting over that injury? Yeah I guess uh, yeah, contract things always help if, if that's not an issue um, but yeah physically I'm in a really good spot, which helps mentally at this time of year, just knowing you can get the work in. Um, still sort of trialling a few different positions and a few different things over summer, but yeah, I feel great. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting into the games. What do you expect in terms of your role for the season coming ahead? More of that defensive wingman, maybe a chance to get forward. You haven't um, kicked too many goals in your time with Freire. Yeah, I think uh, at this stage, it's looking like wing mid at this stage. Um, I think, yeah, like all the good teams, we're trying to build a good group of um, seven, eight mids each game who can rotate around, and I think that's going to be pretty important this year. Uh, but yeah, whatever it, whatever it uh, takes. I've chatted with JL about um, yeah, different roles which may pop up, but I think it'll be quite similar. What have you tried to work on to get sort of inside and, and play a bit more midfield? Uh, well, I think last year I was sort of able to show that I'm capable of that when I get the opportunity so it's just sort of carried on to summer I've had a fair bit of inside in the match sim um, but yeah just using body work and just being clean around the ball was sort of how I try to help the guys out there and um, yeah I'm just I'm enjoying it and hopefully I get a bit more time still. And how about on the wing how do you see the, the options there for the club and, and who's been impressing in match sim in those roles? Uh, yeah, I think all the names that keep getting mentioned are the ones. So, Driz, Liam, Husey at the moment, myself, and then we still have guys like Michael Frederick and Trav Collier coming up as well. So it's definitely not decided. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of options, and even the young guy, the young mids, trying to get a game as well. Uh, they're great options there. So um, yeah, like the team as a whole, I think we're in a really good spot. And I guess the, the practice games coming up will probably help decide. Do you get a sense of uh, whether this is an improved team? Is it at all possible to tell at this stage of the pre-season? Not really. Like every team, I guess you you feel really good and um, yeah, we think we're tracking really well. And I guess there is natural growth and um, improvement within the team. Um, how that stands up, you never know. But I guess um, we're doing everything we can and I think we've uh, sort of achieved what we wanted out of the pre-Christmas block and now we're yeah, ready to get into the competitive nature. When you were rattling through the names through the midfield, you put the younger guys right at the back end. Does that speak to how difficult it is for guys like Erasmus Johnson to break into this team? Uh, well, I guess primarily they're still probably looking at the inside mid sort of roles a little bit, but um, I guess that's the nature of the game is uh, I guess a young a young guy trying to come into a relatively strong team. Um, you've got to fight pretty hard, but they will definitely get chances in in the pracky games coming up. So uh, yeah, they're really impressive. I reckon they're going to have great careers. So um, it's just whenever it starts. Is it is it very difficult for a young player to be patient? Definitely, yeah. I think that's what will make all of them really good players. Like I said, they've got sort of the, well, the Andes and Caleb's and those guys in the midfield group to look up to and they've just come in and pretty much become leaders and great players very quickly. So um, I think that's a common trait in players who become successful. It's um, yeah, that eagerness and really competitive nature. And um, that's what 
those two mids who we've talked about have, um, but yeah, the group as a whole. So how important are those pre-season matches going to be for the side to be ready for round one? Obviously, they're only a couple of weeks away now, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, sort of does come pretty quickly, but um, yeah, there's obviously a combination of um, structure and gelling as a team, but also individually, uh, yeah, there will be people fighting for roles and um, I guess wanting to build form and hit round one running, but um, yeah, they're really important for everyone and it's great to um, have both Adelaide teams coming over as well, it's going to be a good change. Nice to be able to play Adelaide, obviously then, a little, as you mentioned, a bit of a change to... Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the last few years we've been a bit limited. Um, so yeah, it'll be great to uh, yeah get a different look at some teams, and it'll be good. <laughs> What's the leadership dynamic like? Right? in that period between sort of starting pre-season and doing your, your player play. Yeah, I think that will be. We haven't started yet, but I think that will happen soonish. Um, but yeah, I think well the leadership as a whole is really strong. Um, the group we had last year. Um, have been great and they've been leading the whole summer so uh, I assume in the next couple of weeks we'll be um, making that formal but uh, yeah we're in a really strong position. From your experience in footy do you feel like this group is in a, a really good sort of position to have options with its leadership? Yeah yeah absolutely I think some of the senior experienced players um, yeah lead really strongly in many ways and then uh, yeah, like I keep saying, these young guys are genuinely really impressive. Um, so yeah, however the leadership lands for everyone, um, we're in a good spot.